hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and recently github has open free access to their tool called github copilot so let's get started in this video and learn how to utilize github copilot which is very powerful if you you know do programming stuff and since you are on this video i assume that you are on you know some kind of development journey so let's get started and learn how to set up github copilot on vs studio code and utilize its power so i'm here on you know github copilot page you must have account with github and if you you know click on get started for free you'll see this kind of interface you know you can ask anything here and you know it will help you for example i have written hi and let's say i have a python flask application okay help me write a docker file for it and you know it will create a docker file explain the code you can you know further ask you know in case you have any problem you can you know further provide instructions like i'm using this database and you can and you can go from here so this powerful tool also you know lets you use couple of uh, free models this uh, claude 3.5 sonnet is free and for o is free in case you want to use gemini one o preview or o1 mini my bad excuse me o1 preview and o1 mini you need to upgrade but you know if you want to use it free these two models are enough now let me show you how you can you know utilize the the functionality on vs code so i'm here on my vs code and you need to go to this extension tab and write for copilot it will show you this first github copilot the version can change and you install it once you install it you'll see this kind of uh, icon in down right corner of your vs code if you click here you will see sign up here when you click sign up here it will open a url in your browser just log in with the github account and it will work and let's see the power of uh, github uh, copilot there is uh, github copilot chat functionality as well but uh, we are not looking into it at this point so what i'll do is that i'll create uh, main.py file and you know once you have enabled github copilot it will show this kind of thing control plus uh, uh, control plus i to ask G github copilot and when i do that you know you will see a small uh, dialog box where you can write something and you know you can even attach file as well okay so now if i do uh, my bad this is not common for python you can see it is suggesting me stuff write a recursive function to print fibonacci sequence and when i hit tab you know it will auto complete the comment and you can you know see this and when i now come down and just write def you can see it is auto completing the stuff and if i come here you can see it is auto completing the stuff i'm not doing anything and you can see it has suggested all the things and if i open the terminal and if i say uh, let me first save this and if i say python and 
so let me run the file python in main.py oh sorry my bad i need to write python 3 here and you can see we have you know fibonacci sequence so you can see how powerful you know this github copilot tool is i hope you know you have gained some knowledge out of this video and now you are able to use github copilot which is free at this moment and you can utilize the power of github copilot to build your application i hope this video is helpful to you and if it is so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace